Today we are making protein cinnamon rolls. These are just like the ones your granny used to make except after eating these ones you won't feel like a whale that just washed up on the beach. High in protein, extra thick, low in carb, extremely low in fat, these cinnamon rolls you will be able to make with a few simple ingredients and I promise you once you put this in your mouth this is all you're going to want in there. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. You will be watching this the day after Christmas so I figured hey man nothing says Christmas like baked goods or scantily clad women in elf outfits. I'm cool with either. Nothing beats a good cinnamon roll except being able to eat eight cinnamon rolls and it only having the calories of one and all the protein you need to build muscle, lose weight, stay tight and lean this holiday season. We got New Year's right around the corner which means your resolution might be to lose some weight. Well, let me tell you, this channel and these recipes are a good place to start. So if you're here, smash that thumbs up button early, subscribe if you're not subscribed because we're going to get right into this dang thing, man. If you guys are ready for another epic Remington James recipe video, then as always, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! And I know, I hear you. New intro coming very soon. I'll put it together right now. It's coming. Maybe new year, new intro. Audience seems divided, so comment below. New intro or no new intro? You want the classic? You want a new one? You guys gotta let me know. So anyways, to start off with our cinnamon rolls, we gotta be able to make a dough. We're gonna make this dough from scratch using two ingredients. First one you're going to need is Kodiak pancake mix in the buttermilk flavor. It's basically instant pancake mix with less fat, more protein, and less carbs. So it's gonna help us out a lot in making a dough that's gonna be healthier for us, man. And the second ingredient we need is non-fat Greek yogurt, which Oiko's Triple Zero is always my go-to. We're doing it in vanilla flavor. You get lots of fiber here, lots of protein, and no fat, which means less calories. Let's get to mixing. So grab yourself a large mixing bowl. Really, these stainless steel ones are like five bucks. No reason you can't have one. Now I have a food scale here as well. I'm gonna weigh out my ingredients just to make sure we're macro spot on. Step one, we're gonna weigh out 212 grams of our Kodiak pancake mix. And boom. And then next up, we need 187 grams of our Oikos Triple Zero Greek yogurt. The cool part about this Greek yogurt is it actually tastes like really good. That's why I love this brand. So when it mixes with this, it's gonna make this dough really sweet, filled with protein, no fat. I'm telling you, this is gonna be a good one, guys. Almost there. And boom, 187. Now we go in with our hands and we make a dough ball and mix this all together. Just slowly go in. This is probably the hardest part of the recipe right here, just getting this mixed up. The rest of it, cakewalk. And after a few minutes of mixing, you should have yourself a dough ball that looks something like this. You really want to make sure you combine all these ingredients together to make sure this dough ball is the same consistency throughout. Now, let's start making these cinnamon rolls. Now, I'm going to take that dough ball, I'm going to transfer it to a flat surface. I have granite countertops, so this works great, but do it on a baking sheet or however you got to do it, man. And we got a rolling pin. I bought this today, so we're about to try her out. I'm going to hit my surface with a little nonstick spray and also my roller just to be safe. Boom. I'm going to take the dough ball and we're going to roll this guy out. Flatten her a little. Hey, I've never used one of these before, so if you see anything I'm doing wrong, you gotta comment and let me know. And after a little rolling, we basically got it into a square. Now, you could get all fancy and take a knife and straighten it all up, but, you know, we're not gonna do all that. This is bro cooking 101. Now, if I was making it for a lady, I'd slice and dice. But if I'm just cooking for me and my woman, then this'll do. Now, we gotta fill these cinnamon rolls with something, so I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out 28 grams of light butter, which is that brand right there. About half the fat of regular butter, with a good bit of flavor. We're being precise here, ladies and gents. You don't gotta be this precise if you don't want, but you know how we do things around here, man. We wanna be able to have abs and eat cinnamon rolls at the same time. Neither one of those is mutually exclusive. Boom, 28. Now this is gonna go in the microwave for about five to 10 seconds to soften it, and then we add something to it. And once your butter is softened, it should look a little something like this. We're gonna add some cinnamon to it, nice little amount, and go in here and stir this all up. Now it's starting to look like cinnamon roll filling. After your butter and cinnamon are mixed up, we're gonna take our concoction and you just want to spread it out into our cinnamon roll right here. Try to get an even coating all the way throughout. Mm, mm, mm. Smelling good already and this is still just dough. Feel like a modern day Picasso or should I say Rembrandt. And when you mix that butter and that cinnamon up, that smell is just glorious and perfect. Now we want to take a knife and cut this into four even size strips. Let's see how good my vision is. Boom. All right. One down and that looks good to me. Now here comes the tricky part. We got to roll these bad boys up. The problem with this dough right here is that it is not as flexible as other doughs. So you got to be extra careful. I'm really hoping this works out. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Nice and slow. Easy does it. Nice little roll. Woo. There we go. Make sure nothing's sticking.
chicken. Uh-huh. Bada bing, bada boom, people. Uh, that is how it's done right there, man. Look at that. I'm gonna go in and do that to the rest of these. And that is exactly what it should look like right there. Bingo. So we got four of these rolls here. Now we gotta cut them in half. Just flip her over, hold it tight because you don't want this thing breaking on you. Cut it right down the middle. And boom, cinnamon roll and cinnamon roll. Look at that, I know you doubted me. If you doubted me, comment below. But look at that, that's picture perfect, man. And check it out, our cinnamon rolls are ready to bake. Now I will say, these first six turned out great. Remember how I talked about the end, you might wanna cut with a knife? Well, look at, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> and that one, dude, those are a little goofy, but they'll be fixed when we put our toppings on. Basically, these ones are saved for ladies, and that one, by God, that one's for a warm one. And then once these are ready to go, we're gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 12 minutes. Woo! Put them right in here. Boom. Timer. And then while these are cooking, we gotta make up our topping. Let's go. The glaze is actually really simple. We will be doing 112 grams of fat-free cream cheese mixed with 28 grams of Swerve confectioner sugar. What is cool about this stuff is it's sugar alcohol based, which there's some studies out there that say like your body doesn't absorb the carbs from this. I countered them into the recipe because that's just who I am. But this is a far better alternative than regular sugar, in my opinion. And it's like powdered sugar, so it's a win-win. I weighed out 28 grams of our confectioner confectioner sugar. I got 112 grams of fat-free cream cheese. I'm just gonna combine the two. I'm gonna go in here and mix them together. And when it's all said and done, it should be smooth and whipped just like that. And then once your cinnamon rolls are done cooking and you let them cool for a little bit, we're gonna add our topping here. Go into number one. Ooh, baby. Mm, mm, mm. It's gonna be way better than you think it's gonna be. And boom. And get a load of these, man. Wow. You can see the cinnamon swirls in there. A nice helping of that cream on top. Wow. All right, guys, without further ado, let's try it out. All right, all right. Moment of truth, guys. Let's see how these stack up to the real thing. I think I need to start with this guy right here. This is like the picture perfect one. If you can see that. I'm not gonna talk much because I am starving. I was making that, I've been salivating. My tripod broke on me. Literally got my camera sitting on an oatmeal tin. <laughs> so fun stuff, man. I really just wanna eat. So we're gonna hop right into it. Three, two, one, let go. Oh, I need a drink. <sighs> to be completely honest, these are unique, but in a really good way. So the combination of the Greek yogurt and the Kodiak protein flapjack mix, they're, they're a little thicker. They're not as airy as a cinnamon roll, but it doesn't mean they're any less good. <clears throat> wow. And the icing for being fat free, when you add the confectioner sugar to it, ooh, gives it like a sweetness and a thickness and a creaminess. I purposely saved a little extra in here so we can do a little bit of this. Ooh, that should be illegal. That shouldn't be right. Shouldn't be able to walk around a free man and do that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is slapping. Mm. So now let's move on to the best part of this recipe, which is the macros, man. So for one cinnamon roll, given that they were all even, these ones aren't exactly even, but in one cinnamon roll, you have 2.5 grams of fat, 10.5 grams of protein, and 21 grams of carbs with only 150 calories. And the entire recipe is only 20 grams of fat, 84 grams of protein, and 171, yikes, grams of carbs, which is 12 hundred calories. But for cinnamon rolls, man, that's killer. Especially given how low fat they are in the introduction of some protein. No. Mm -hmm. And it even comes apart on a cinnamon roll. And you can see the swirl in there, man. That's got some swirl to it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So that, my friends, is a protein cinnamon roll. Need another drink. Ah. Oh, what is this, you might ask? Good question. Final Boss Greens mixed with a Gatorade Zero with half a scoop of branched chain amino acids. Also Final Boss. Peep the product right here. That's a good looking package. I hear that all the time. When you can't get your greens in your daily diet, one scoop a day keeps the doctor away, man. FinalBossPerformance.com, code RGF, 10 stage 10%, or available on Amazon with free prime two-day shipping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta do one more. Mm. So what did we learn today? We learned that instead of blowing your whole diet out of the water by eating a cinnamon roll, you could literally make yourself eight of them and still stay on track. That's what we learned. We learned that successful dieting is not always about eliminating foods entirely. It's about finding creative ways to make them work for you. And that's what we're all about here, man. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you are not subscribed. If you haven't checked out the channel merch yet, man, finalbossathletics.com. We got loads of good stuff over there. If you want to look like a, like a boss, like 
Like you run stuff, man. Like you're the shift leader at a Walmart. Like you've ran a Speedway for the past five years. Like you've kept all your employees at Discount Tire under your wing in check. And cop some merch, man. You support the channel. You help us out a lot. And seeing you guys in it when you tag me on Instagram is killer. Thank you guys, as always, for watching this video. And I will see each and every one of you at the next video. And I hope you guys, seriously, had a good Christmas, man. I know I did, even though I filmed this in advance. I know I did. See you guys.